You know, I've received multiple comments about that red pesky box that appears in the lower thirds with dockable control panel tool for OBS Studio. This video is going to help you get a resolution, make that red box go away so that you can receive this. All right, let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. This is an educational channel providing tutorials on all the exciting hardware and software that makes your live streams super fun and cool for your viewers. If you like what you hear, subscribe and click the bell for new video notification. I'm absolutely sure these tips will get you up and running. If you have any questions after watching the video, let me know in comments and I will help you to the best of my ability. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a little quick trick that I bet you didn't know existed for this tool, and it's pretty cool. Okay, number one, the main settings toggle at the top here must be turned on in order for all the four lower thirds to function. So it's like a master toggle. When you turn it off, they all go red. So make sure that toggle is turned on for that to work. Okay, the next issue has to do with time allocation. And the reason why this is an issue is because when you set the amount of time that the lower third is to not be seen, the lower third that you've turned on will go red. And so it's, you know, you think that the red designation is trying to tell you that it's inactive for some other reason, but actually it's red because it's waiting to turn back on again because it's waiting for that inactive countdown to reach zero. Let, let, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to the main settings here, I click the plus sign, it clamshells open, you've got three fields. The first field designates the time allocated to the animation as it comes into view. So I'm gonna put a second in there. The next one is the time allocated to the lower third moving out of view. It's the transition time as it moves out, I'll hit that as a second. But if you put in say 999 seconds here, right? and you turn off the lower third here and turn it back on again, it's gonna come into view for a second, it's gonna leave in a second and stay red for 999 seconds. Now, what most people think is, okay, I'm gonna put a one in here, but I gotta tell you, there's a scenario by which when you put the one in there, it still will go red because if you click this little clock parameter and it clamshells open, you have a timer override that overrides the main setting timer. So if I put a one in here, a one in here, and 9999 here, the countdown, while it's not in view, will be read from this counter and not this one, okay? So as you can see right now, it came into view and left view, and now it's in the no-show countdown part of the sequence, and it will remain red for 999 seconds. And if you click the clock, it'll come out of view and you're gonna be like, well, I put it in as a second right here, but it's still staying in red. Ah, and you get all confused. It's sort of one of the issues with clamshell navigations because you get confused when and how to open it up to see all the parameters. And it's one of the reasons why this tool can be very confusing, okay? But the bottom line is it goes red while it waits when it's not in view in regards to the wait timer. Okay. Okay, the third solution is really, really tricky, I think, and that is if you have your name in here, it functions, right? Here's Rochelle, comes in, goes out perfectly. But if they are blank and you try to turn it on, boom, it goes to red. That's kind of tricky, right? Okay, what if you just put your name in there, all right? What happens? Nothing. Turn it off, turn it on, stays red. But if you have each field with a name, it works. So in order for this thing to function, it must have an entry for both the fields. And so the easiest way to fix this, I believe, you can see in very, very light gray, it says name and info. What it should say is field required for animation. If that was in there for both, it would be so much easier to understand. Now, the little tip that I was gonna tell you about is the ability to drag these fields into any order that you want. Isn't that cool? And I believe this comes as part of the, the functionality with the, the script that's being used for this. I just think that's so cool. So you can drag them to any order that you wish. Station. 
strong and keep fighting.